Android 13 is here, which is One UI 5, and this year brings lots of updates. You can see this is the change log. We're not going to go through all of these updates in this video, but I'm going to tell you about my favorite updates in this year's Android. So let's get to it. First, we've got the visual design. We have smoother than ever before animations and transition effects, and that is really big for me, you guys. Because I've been saying this for years, especially for Samsung phones, they have been known to suffer from micro stutters and things like that, like lag during animation. iPhones don't have that, but now you can see everything is buttery smooth. I mean, check this out. Everything is very nice and smooth. I love it. I can say that the animations are almost there when it comes to comparing them with the iPhone. So in terms of smoother than ever before animations, that's a great job, Android. My next favorite option on Android 13 is multitasking, where you can switch your view with a gesture. So you can switch from full screen to split screen view by swiping upward with two fingers from the bottom of the screen. So if you swipe like this, you can see that this is the split screen view and you can instantly open another app. I mean, this is one of my favorite things in Android, the split screen view. And now it's more convenient than ever because you can access the split screen with just swiping with your two fingers from the bottom of the screen like this. That's really cool. You can see that there are a lot of updates for the camera and gallery section here, but that's still not my favorite. My favorite is under the photo and video editor section where you can draw perfect shapes on pictures and videos. So you can use the pen tool to draw a shape such as a circle, triangle, rectangle, or heart. I love this. I've been a fan of this for years when you can draw certain shapes. Let's have a look at how we can do this. Suppose I have this object right in front of me and I take a picture right now and I go to the gallery and I try to edit this picture. Let's say I go here and now I want to draw certain shapes. Let's say I want to draw a circle. So there you go. Let me draw a better circle than that. <laughs> Let me try to draw a rectangle. So you can see that a star. You can draw perfect shapes on your pictures and on your video and I think this is really cool. I love this update. You can also hold your finger on the screen when you finish drawing to make it instantly transform to straight lines and perfect angles and that means that you can do this. That's going to turn into a straight line for example. You see that? You can draw so many shapes and that is really cool. The next feature in Android 13 is amazing. The iPhone had this feature for a while and I was waiting. I was wondering when Android's going to get this feature, which is extracting and scanning text. So you can extract text from any image or screen. Let's take a picture of this text, for example. Let's say this text right here. Okay. Now check out the magic as it happens. <laughs> you see this button right here? That is the AI working in action to extract this text in any image. So if I press this, it will automatically recognize the text. So by clicking here, you can extract the text that you want. Copy this text and there you go. This option was available on Apple devices, iPadOS and iOS a year ago. And finally, Android caught up. That's great. Now you can also set a language for each app. So if you want to use some apps in one language and other apps in another language, you can do that. You can now choose which language will be used for each app in the settings. Now this will require more support from developers, but now you have that option as well, which is pretty cool. And also you have security and privacy information for websites. So an icon will appear in the address bar in Samsung internet to show a site security status. You can tap the icon to learn which information the website collects and tracks. So if we go to this website, for example, you see this icon right here. If you tap this icon, all the privacy info is displayed, the secure connection, how many tracking attempts are blocked and how many cookies are in use. Now, as I said, Android 13 has many more features and updates that we're not going to go through in this video. But if you want to read all of these updates, if you want to go through all of these updates and have a look at them yourself, I've left a link in the description below and you can do that. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you really like this video, subscribe to the channel. And have a great day.